Hi, Nitusha. Hi, Bodhi. Hi. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Very well, thank you. Must be try tiring during these promotion days. No, I no, love actually, it. Actually, yeah. actually, yeah, we love it very much. Are you enjoying it? Okay. You get to talk about your work with better than yours. Yeah. With new people. Yeah. So let's start with the question. Uh, what, according to you, is cooking? That's a very interesting question because um, if I go ahead to define cookie, it's a lot of things. But um, cookie is this beautiful movie that we have made here in Assam. Uh, it's about a Hindi family in Assam, and it's about rape. It's a movie about rape, and we are trying our best to raise a very important message. To the society, um, or um, 28th June ko release ho rahi hai film all over India. So yeah, we're very excited about it. Let's get to both now. Yeah. What do you think people would see to Uh, well, first of all, again, like she mentioned, it's a very important story. Uh, it also speaks of the trials and tribulations of a family that does not belong necessarily to a place where it shifted somewhere, right? It's uh, they've come from somewhere in the north, they've shifted to Assam, it's a different language, uh, all that. Except other than that, it's a very important message, obviously, and we've put a lot of heart and soul into making this film. So I think uh, we would really love it if people come and watch the film and get to see the effort we've put in. And even when we were shooting the entire cast, we were all feeling that uh, what we're doing is uh, of some, it has some substance and has some importance that Hopefully when people watch it, maybe they shed a tear, maybe they uh, feel an emotion, maybe something tugs at their hearts. I'm sure that will happen. So let's get to the next question. Why should people come to the theatre for this movie? I think primarily this movie leaves a lot of impact. It is about something that is so emotional, but it's so real, you know. and. If we don't watch this movie in the big screen with so many people, the message that it's trying to leave will not, um, as you said, tug at our hearts in, in a way that we want it to. Yeah. And there's so many intricacies in the movie. Every dialogue, every um, emotion, expression is so um, delicate and it's so important for the, for the impact that the movie is trying to leave. So if, if, if it's not... Um, shown on the big screen, if you are watching it phone pay and suddenly there is some city kitchen say or somebody is calling someone you have to go pick up milk, you will miss these things and you should watch the two hours of that movie with like the theatre wala feeling you know. Yeah. And, uh, and to add to that, uh, also this is the uh, first time, so it's an Astomi screw who shot a Hindi film in Assam. Yeah. And on top of that, this is probably one of the first times that a uh, film shot in Assam got a distributor from outside, and that's a rarity, uh, so, and also a privilege, of course. At this yeah. Moment. So yeah. Wonderful answer. Uh, what makes you think uh, Cookie is different from other films? Uh, Cookie is different from other films. Uh, see, uh, at the end of the day. It is a message that has been spoken of, but the question that we raise is uh, perhaps less, it, it's a path less taken also because it's not the safest way to go about it. Um, when you watch the film, which I would not spoil at this moment, you'll understand that there are certain aspects that, you know, there are many times in our lives when we are uh, led to a certain question and we think, yeah, I mean, that's obvious, like, but why doesn't, pe why don't people ask that, right? Yeah, it's, it's almost like, it should have been second nature, but it is not. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's really important to raise questions like that because it comes from you internally and using uh, a film as that method is the best way to go about it. It's a creative thing. Uh, film is a creative medium and uh, emotionally people are able to match that energy or match that rhythm uh, better because there's realism, but it's also fiction in a way. So in their discomfort, there is comfort. And together it sort of blends into this perfect mixture of uh, understanding one another. As you know, it's a movie on race. Many movies on this topic have already been made. What is new in this movie? What's new? Um, I mean, I played the role of Cookie. And from what I can tell is, 
the movie raises a very important question but it just doesn't do that you know we've all it, it asks a question it asks a question from a different angle about rape um questioning the different uh institutions in our society but uh it also like when people watch the movie it also gives a very important answer a solution which is what we are looking for now when you watch the movie and you come back it there's this this sort of, sort of like realization within you as a member of the society that okay this was the question this is the answer we've all we all have the power to change something we all have the power to question big institutions like the justice system yeah. and we can do it together and that's what uh, the movie is trying to tell people so what's new about the movie is i think it looks at rape um from a very psychological perspective and it offers a solution that is very realistic and is possible if we work together How will Cookie impact your film career? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, Cookie would impact my film career in a way that first of all is the first film I've done in Assam, okay. uh, and as long as I've been working, I've always wanted to do something here because I'm here from here, the house is here, the family is here, my family is here, so I have this sort of uh, urge to work here naturally. But also, uh, it allowed me to. explore an aspect of my own craft which i had not before which excited me when the film was first pitched to me uh playing a kind of character that i had not before so in that way yes because it allowed me to question and attack some of my own dilemmas and my own performance so in that way yes it uh, it allowed me to broaden my horizons yeah, i think uh, for me it really leaves like a huge impact on my film career because um it's my debut film and also before i worked in web series like an asian web series called illegal and i played the role of jack there which was so so different from kuki i think i learned a lot about acting working in this film working for a character as um intense as uh, kuki and i found what works best for me as an actor what i would want to do to myself or how i would want to train myself for a new character kuki was uh, the lead in the film so of course there was a lot of pressure a lot of nervousness and the film is not released yet so that nervousness is still there but it's a lot of excitement i think it introduced me to the world of cinema and uh, yeah kuki is just it's the pivotal i would say of what is to come for me as an actor in the future yeah. i really hope the audience loved your performance <laughs> so let's they will they will <laughs> that's good how far do you think a women centric film like this okay can you help me again how important are women centric films like this that aim to leave a huge societal impact in both okay um so Kuki is a women centric film. I think often you know female stories are from what I have noticed are told in a way that you know people consume it but it's for entertainment. There has to be some sort of thriller aspect to it, some sort of um masala to it for people to consume a a movie about women and their problems. And um Even though Cookie is a women-centric film, I think rape is an issue that goes beyond gender and beyond age. And um, I think having Cookie as the um, primary of this entire story, as the main revolve, like the planet that everything revolves around. So Cookie is like it leaves a societal impact in the sense that it tells people to notice Cookie, to understand her. and to understand all the cookies around the world because it's not just a story about one single woman it's a story about every other survivor out there that has encountered rape or any sort of um discomfort or um sexual assault or abuse in their life it tells their story it makes them feel heard it makes them feel seen it makes them 
know that we are there there are people around the world who want to share your story who want to empower you um into the strong powerful person that you are and it's important for the society because once people see such movies and they the they um consume the message that we are trying to deliver there will be this sort of change at least in the smallest bit there will be this sort of thought that cultivates in their mind which is what we want from a film like cookie yeah This is the first film where all the crew members, that is about 98 persons, are assembled. What is the main idea behind this? Um. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, we wanted to share Assam's culture to the rest of the world. Assam has a very very rich culture and um, art and history, and I think with 98 uh, percent of people, as you mentioned in the film. um our assembly it it's it's beautiful to have these people represent um their culture globally because cookie is now um there there are plans to release it in US um Canada and parts of Europe as well so um for them to ask these questions when i was in camp for them to ask what is bhavna what is the assembly's language so as i asked me first and myself it made me really um proud that people were asking these questions it made me really emotional that we were able to reach uh, we were able to move something that is a part of assam to the global platform and uh, i think with 98% as me people so as vivian as me myself it felt like a family um, working together uh, yeah even both these um, as me lived in delhi <laughs> for his whole life but he is as me is it just felt like um we were working together as a family for this very important issue that beyond assam beyond india it's all for, it's something that's happening all over the world you know yeah. yeah and i think it's really important that uh, when you do a film especially uh, when you're doing now this is a hindi film but definitely yeah. it's shot in a region and uh, it's important to also give people of that industry representation and platforms to work i don't think it's fair if you shoot in assam which is if you're talking about the industry in assam it's obviously not as big as uh, you know bollywood or even something uh, even a small industry like even the marathi industry is bigger in comparison or more de- or more developed so i don't think it's fair that you shoot a film here uh, and not give people the representation and the space to let their work known yeah. uh, i think if you can do a film that gets distribution like cookie fortunately got um i think if uh, we did not have a 98% is a very specific number 98% uh, as me so i think it would feel like we would have cheated in some sort yeah, of way and, and i think there's so much talent in assam yeah that is unexplored yeah there's so many people who are who have worked on their craft who are immensely talented and i think it's high time we actually explore the assamese industry and explore the assamese artists yeah. and i think that's what cookie does it it we worked with people as young people as little children to really senior actors here mm. and it's it's beautiful to see how much they have to offer and mm. how much is um yet to be unexplored yeah. cookie does that which yeah. is great Like there are so many people from here who are working in Bollywood. Yeah. Right? Uh, I meet so many Assamese people. There. Some day I'm dubbing, and uh, they understand that I'm Assamese, and then there's a full conversation. <laughs> Everybody around us is wondering the what, what, why are we speaking? What are we speaking in? Oh, we uh, didn't know you were Assamese. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I I don't think talent ki koi bhi kami hai. Uh, I think kadar ki halki kami hai, aur wo kadar karna hamko seekhna chahiye. Very well said. What is the main Thank you. USP? unique selling point of cookie wow um okay i think maybe the unique selling point of cookie would be the message that is trying to the different take as i already mentioned the perspective the psychological perspective the actual um importance that cookie's character gets it's not um overshadowed by things like masala it's not overshadowed by the the other characters in the movie it's about her and i think it's high time we we talk about a rape survivor and about her and how she had to um 
find herself again and cookie does that cookie lets people know about this one individual story and it tries to you know empower all the people who relate to the story even to the tiniest of aspects mm. and i think the unique selling point would be that it's it's something unique it's something that can be achieved the solution that cookie is trying to give mm. is something that we can actually achieve it's, it would leave you with a question mm. you Huh, like if you if you go to watch the movie, you you won't come back thinking, okay, it's a story about rape. Yeah. They were okay. It's a story about rape. What can I do? What yeah. can I do as a member of the society? What can I do to create change? And I think for that reason, movies like this should be watched. Movies like this should be um, talked about. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, given that it is. and in an as film like she's playing cookie as cookie in yeah. cookie i think it also gives a very personal and subjective touch in a way like you were more intimately uh, involved with this character you you not watching it from god's perspective it is her perspective yeah. and i think that's very important to tell a story to properly perhaps try to empathize with the grief uh, which is near impossible for people who have not gone through it Uh, and even for people who have gone through it it's always going to be subjective things change right people feel things in different uh, different dimensions different spec- the spectrum is huge uh, but i think giving it an emotional and personal touch uh, was a very pivotal decision and i think uh, that would separate it from a lot of films that i can think of the top of my head very well said uh, as we come to the end of this interview i'd like to ask one last question we want to give a release all over india and also in other foreign countries for the first time As an Assamese producer, makes the movies from Assam and goes so far. What, what motivates you to do that? It's a big film. I think, um, I think that would be best answered by the producer. But as an actor, um, to just know that an Assamese film has reached that platform, it's, it's moved from. First of all, it's releasing all over India. I think that's an amazing thing in itself. but the fact that there's people from around the world that want to see cookie that want to um spread this message mm. i think that's that's incredible that we have reached that stage now and it's just it's just a it's creating a pathway for more assamese films for yeah. more cultural films to represent their um, culture their um, beliefs and uh, what makes them them you know yeah. and uh, it raises so many questions with i i have noticed so many times that people don't know what assamese in itself is people don't um, understand the language people don't understand the the different aspects the dance the, the behavior of it so it, you know a country like india is so culturally rich we have so many different languages so many different people and to know that a part of it a, like assam is out there on the global platform is yeah. beautiful it's incredible yeah. and as filmmakers i mean we would love it uh, the more the people they get to watch yeah. a project that we've made right like they were at can and the film people watch it in can and they really enjoyed it yeah uh, and even showing it in different parts of the country all the world is very important for any film altogether because at the end of the day you don't make a film for a region you don't make a film for right. a section of society necessarily uh it's an entertainment medium and it's a medium that's supposed to make you feel something and i think as humans we're all capable of feeling something uh, and i think that that feeling knows no bounds no boundaries uh, no countries it's uh, whoever is human uh, hopefully they feel something with what we make yeah, so, yeah. how was your shooting experience any interesting incident you remember from the set of the movie shooting was a blast uh, again personally because uh, I got to come back home after a really long time. It was COVID. Delhi me, Atira Wata me. I was in Bombay me, working. I was. I got to come back here. I was. We were shooting. We were shooting in Deshpande uh, University. Yeah. And my father stays there. So I would literally wake up, brush my teeth, take a shower, and walk to set. Like it was <laughs> that comfortable for me. And also working with an Assamese crew was always going to be fun because there's always uh, familiarity uh, in culture and language. And also working with the co-actors, she and I had a blast. Uh, we we vibed to so many Hindi songs yeah. and, and hip hop and we would 
whenever we were not shooting, we were blasting things. Her driver as well, Rajuda. Rajuda. Special <laughs> shout out to him. Uh, the three of us, he would blast. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. So we would blast music and uh, enjoy ourselves completely. I don't think at any point we were taking too much stress. Yeah. Because even though it's important to take your job seriously, it's also important to not take yourself too seriously. Uh, a very important thing, I, I, a very cool ins instance I remember, is that uh, we were shooting uh, at the outskirts of uh, Tasteful. Yeah. And I did not have a scene kuch samay ke liye. So I was sitting in the car, earphones laga ke. Uh, again, I could not blast music then because shoot was on the side. Mein. So I had headphones on and I was chilling. When I suddenly heard people screaming and scampering and there was a ruckus. So I took my earphones off. I wanted to know what's happening. And then I realized that it's a scene. And I went to watch what it was. And uh, what I saw was... You know, you can the... <laughs> what you saw uh, was me. So, I think it was um, one of the most important scenes of the movie. And uh, I didn't even know that he was there because it, I was so like... I think I lost my voice screaming at that time, but um, yeah, it was it was quite an experience to meet like so many different people, and it was really it was like a family for me because I was leaving soon for um, boarding school, and this was the last time I was going to be in Assam, uh, and with meeting so many different people, so many new Assamese people, it just, it just felt like I created this whole new family before I left. But I have something more to say. Um, now that he brought the outskirts thing part, uh -huh. do you remember there was a, there was a tree near our um, shooting, uh, near our set, there was this tree and someone had told me that the tree was haunted. And every time I would be alone reading the script, I would look at the tree and I would just be like, no, uh, I, can't, I can't stay in this place, yeah. I can't stay in this place. And sometimes it got like so dark because we had like early morning shoots as well, um, from late night to early morning. Yeah. And we were just in the car, it got really dark and I think, I think you started um, sharing haunted stories. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he's just so nice and he started to um, <laughs> scare me to my death. So I, yeah, I was so nice, it's such a good experience. Yeah, like can you deny the, can you deny the opportunity? We are in this uh, we we're we at the outskirts, no real lights on because the shoot ka light yeah. has to be set up. We were sitting in cars and it was dim. It was the perfect opportunity to share ghost stories. It literally looks like a forest on both sides. Like come on, like it's the perfect it's the golden this opportunity. Right? Road and like yeah. there's trees and I'm I'm a very paranoid yeah, person. I was trying to scare you, but I think I sort of ended up scaring myself as well. Very good. Something you'd like to tell the audience? So many things you'd like to tell the audience, but mainly like Watch the film. Please yeah. come and watch the film. We have worked incredibly hard. Yeah. We poured our heart and soul into this movie and we want to share this really, really important message that needs to be shared, needs to be talked about. So please watch the film, take your friends and family and yeah. Yeah, and I would especially like to urge uh, all the Assamese people who live outside of Assam who are yeah. staying in uh, Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata cities that are outside of Assam and uh, to take their friends, their family, to sort of help promote a film that is trying to make a difference in a way. Uh, because it's, it's a rarity for a film to get distribution like this. And that we have, uh, I, we would love it if the audience likes it and they yeah. help promote the film as much as possible. It would mean the world to us. So I would, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Wishing you all the best for the movie. Hope it receives all the love and appreciation. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.